everyone. This is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. Now sometimes you take a photo and there's a little bit of glossy shine on the lips of the model, but sometimes we want to accentuate that a little bit. And here's a quick and easy tip how to do that. So go ahead and open up princess.jpg if you want to follow along with this example. And first thing we want to do is we want to select that area that's shining. And so one way to do that is go to select and then color range. And bring that up there. We can just select the highlights. You know, if you just have sampled colors, that does a pretty good job as well. But I'm just going to select highlights and we're just looking at this area on the lips here. And move the fuzziness left and right until it has the gloss on there but not too much the area around it, like not that far. So something like I think 48% works on this example. And click OK and now it's got the marching ants. And it also picked up areas outside of that area that are similar in the color range and that's fine. What we want to do is press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. That duplicates that layer with only the area that's selected. And then change the blending mode on the layers panel to screen. That's going to lighten it a little bit. The problem is it lightened everywhere that was selected. So hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and add a layer mask. And then we want to paint a little bit of white back in. So choose a nice soft edge brush, hardness set to 0% and make sure foreground color is set to white and we just want to click and drag in here and it adds a little bit of shine but keeps it retains the texture of the lips all right so there's before and there's after you can also press Control j again and that'll duplicate this top layer to make it even a stronger effect if you think it's too much you can bring down the opacity of this top one only or if the original layer is a little bit strong, we can make it more subtle and click and drag it left opacity on the layers panel. Hey everyone, this is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques.